up y'all how you doing today it's your girl miss free to you and i am here to talk about black history month and then follow behind this i have a haul for you guys from dollar tree um and after this i'm probably gonna be staying about dollar tree for a little while we'll see <laughs> i'll hold me to it we'll see um so um i'm about to say oh <laughs> it's black history month the shortest month of the year. And I guess beggars can't be choosy, can we? Y'all, I finally saw Birth of a Nation on Tuesday night. That's all I'm gonna say. If you seen that movie, you you know what this this is about. That's that's all I'm gonna say. I was floored. It's a great movie. I love the message. And I had looked at some underlying things that were in the movie that people probably look past. But it was deep, and I enjoyed the movie. And that's all I'm going to say. If you've seen it and you understand where I'm coming from, drop a comment below. So, with my kids, they be hating me for this, but I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Every Black History Month, and sometimes after Black History Month, I make them sit down and watch movies and documentaries about what black people have gone through, where black people came from, our struggles as black people, our rise, our fault, whatever. We have, they have watched that uh, almost, I think they missed one part of it. Because when I was young and I was in school in Newark, New Jersey, my teacher made us watch, the, my white teacher made us watch um, the Eyes on a Prize series. I made my kids watch every one, I think, but it was one, like, two, I think it was one of them that I couldn't get from the library. Another one I'm looking for is Hidden Colors. Y'all check that out. Look for that. Hidden Colors. Look for that. I went to the library. My, the, my local library. None of the libraries actually in my city knew anything about it. And I told them they need to order it. So they ordered it. I asked them to send me a copy. They, I guess they forgot. I forgot. And I went to the library the other day to ask them about it. And they only had it at the main library. So I'm just waiting for it to reach my library up here. They had it at the main library in Tampa. But look for that. Hidden Colors. Okay. And um, that is another good one. It goes all the way back to slavery to the i mean it's good it's it breaks it all down for you and i have to stop saying the word mf it, it goes into all of that okay so um i'm waiting on those movies to come in and i wanted to talk to y'all about some of the books that i got for the girls because you know i'm homeschooling them and, um, you know, they talk about the, the greats and then, and I'm going to say the favorites, like your Martin Luther King, your Malcolm X, um, your Harriet Tubman, your Thurgood Marshall. But there's so many other people that, for one, contributed to the civil rights movement that contribute, like our inventors and so forth, that they don't talk about. And I try to keep my girls, you know. So this is, um, this book is for uh, Sojourner Truth. Okay. And I got this for them, and we're going to be... We haven't read these yet, to be honest with you, but these are the ones I picked up from the library the other night, and I just wanted to run them by you all. So maybe you can run them by your children as well. Look for this book. The author, it is by Laura Hamilton Waxman. Okay, and that's the author, if y'all can see that. This one is not so much about black history. Um, You know, I am in school, and I'm taking an American history class, and we have went over um, women's rights and suffrage. So this is the women's suffrage movement. This, I went over this about, I want to say three chapters ago. And um, this one is important that the children understand this and how women had to fight for their rights as well. Uh, like I said, this one was pretty much um, not so much touching on black women's rights, but women as a whole. And then this one is the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Oh, I didn't say the author for that one. The author for this one is... Hold up, y'all. I don't want to keep y'all too long. Um, Kristen Tonis Keller. That's the author. So look out for that. This one is the Civil Rights Act of 1964 by Jason Skog. Or Skog. Okay, and this one again is more or less about um, this. Okay, this is about the union strikes. I'm working on this one too in American history, and this is called The Brave Girl. 
And this one is by uh, Michelle Markell. And the pictures are by Melissa Sweet. Okay. And it's really cool. It's showing you like how much they were paid. And how many hours they had to work. It's just really cool. This one is When Marion Sang. And this book is by Pam Munoz Ryan. Pictures by Brian Selznick. Without the glare of the light. Sorry if y'all can't see it. Look at the back. Okay. So these are the books that we're going to be reading. And then I'll get on. I'll do my best to get on here next week. One day next week. And just kind of go over these books with you guys. And kind of do a review on them. Tell you what they were about. Or maybe even one day this week. I'm going to see if we can read these this week. Um, before this week is over I should say. And then give you a review on them. Tell them what they're about. And look for you guys. Look for these books in your local libraries. Or order them. Whatever. Deuces.